<sighs> Damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy vs. Everybody Podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here! Shot vs. A Bike Podcast, episode 31. Mm. We got a special guest in the building, man. We got goddamn father, husband, uh, Jordan Shoe Collector, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, Mistake DJ. Back in the day. For sure, for sure. Back in the day. Uh, radio personality, uh-huh. uh, Mr. Bucky Naked, man, Big Greg. What's good, man? What's poppin', man? What's man? good, man? Appreciate you coming on, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. I, I be having doubt with some people, man. Hey, man, it's different for me, man. The interview is now being interviewed, so yeah. it's different for me. I had to come do it. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. I appreciate you coming on. Uh, we start everything off, though, before we get into everything. Uh, salute me while I'm here. Okay. A lot of times we wait for people to pass away, make that long Facebook status mm-hmm. or that Instagram post saying how we miss him or her. But we don't say it while they're still around, you know okay. what I'm saying, right. to receive those flowers. But it can't be nobody close to you. It can't be wife. can't be kids, mom or pops. It got to be somebody that wouldn't expect the salute. That's um, still around. Ty Mopkins. Mm-hmm. Ty Mopkins. I mean, um, Ty Mopkins is one of the uh, first people from Detroit that showed me love when I first came to the city. Okay. Uh, he was introduced, uh, Spud introduced me to Ty Spud, Mopkins. Yeah, yeah. And Ty Mop, me, it's been me and Ty yeah. for the last, what, 15 years, man. For sure, for sure. I love what the brother's doing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's going to get better for him, man. For I sure. wish him nothing but the best, yeah. man. But salute he, to Ty. He just made a move, didn't he? Didn't he just move? I believe I believe so because I know uh, my producer was at a that he was a he been doing some things yeah. you know what I mean he been doing some things <laughs> hey, shout out, that's the second person that saluted him uh, shout out to the twins uh, SJ and AJ yeah they gave him a uh, salute whatever so yeah he seemed like a good brother man Southwest legend whatever yep. man yep. Mr. Starter you know what I'm saying jackets and stuff man I, I need one of them jackets man hey he got some more stuff coming man. that's all I can say he yeah. showed me some stuff the other day I was like yo yeah yeah. Shout, Shout out hey, to Ty Mopkins. Hey man, you ever want to come on the show, man? Open seat, man. <laughs> there on, it is, there it is. Come on, come on down, Ty. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Now, man, uh, 2022, man, it's almost over, man. Matter of fact, uh, happy belated birthday. I Appreciate know. that, August Leo 5th, Gang. Man. Leo Gang. Yeah, hey, I, yeah, August 4th was a, that was a bad, that's a bad date right there. Had a relationship with somebody else. Oh, was, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. But, man, with, uh, with, the, with you getting older, do we feel like the birthdays come quicker? Cause yes. I, me, my, my my boy was talking about that. Like, before you turn twenty one, it's like the years go by so slow. Man. Right. You pass that twenty one mark, it's like. Yeah, yeah. You get real gray in the face real <laughs> yeah, quick. You sure, know what I mean? Sure. Uh, hairline go back. Oh yeah, but they definitely come. They definitely come quicker now. Oh yeah, yeah. My hairline been gone. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to everybody who still got their hairline, man. Facts. But how your year been, man? Like so far, it's almost over, man. What's ups downs? Like what's been going on? It's been good this year, man. Uh, uh, not too much to complain about. We still here. That's the big thing, oh, no, man. We sure, still here. We out. still healthy. Yeah. Uh, nobody got bumps on their face in the building right now, <laughs> yeah, so we good. Sure. Now, I'm not trying to make fun of it, but <laughs> no. I mean that's the real shit right yeah, there. You know yeah, what I mean? Be um, so I, I, I'm just happy to be blessed. The family good. We, we up. Oh yeah. We good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Also, uh, uh, congrats, man. Celebrating 14 years of marriage, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. man. Now I, that's that's big, right? Oh there. yeah, for sure. I, I just celebrated two in July. Okay. Uh, man, what's the what's the secret, man? Like to to maintain a successful marriage, man? Because uh, a lot of people out here, man, you see marriages come and go. People don't really respect love or whatever, man. It, it, it's over before they say I do. Uh. Brute honesty. Okay. Me and my wife, we will we will be brutally honest with each other, mm-hmm. and uh, we 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 tackle those situations as we have to be tackled. Sure. And if we you don't like something I say, I say, all right, cool, respect yeah. that I said, and vice versa. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, honesty yeah. though, man, gotta have honesty. It's not even communication; it's understanding. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, for sure. And you gotta be able to embrace the honesty too. Yeah. Some yeah. people ain't willing to embrace it, and you you tell them what's real, and they like. Fuck you, like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta be able to understand, like, I'm being real with you because I do love you. Yep. You know yep. what I'm saying? You don't want nobody. I tell it to my kids. You don't want nobody from the streets to tell you something who don't give a damn about you. Facts. I say that to my son all the time. Yeah, man. Yeah. How many kids? Two. Okay. Okay. Two. Two. What's the age? Nineteen and seven. Nineteen and seven. All right. So tell me this. Nineteen and seven, man. It's twelve year gap. Mm-hmm. Tell me, was it easier? With, with your seven year old than it was with your nineteen year old. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Much, much easier. <laughs> I mean, it's practice. Practice yeah, makes perfect. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. What were some struggles you had early on being a father? Um, 
damn, can I really do this? Yeah, like that's that's yeah. the that's the one thing. Like, yo, can I really do this? Am I really responsible for somebody else? Yeah. I help create. So that was the early struggle. But once I, I guess I gained my confidence knowing I could do this shit. Mm. I'm like, yo, come on, it's, come yeah, on, yeah, yeah, it's gang, gang, gang. For sure, because I got a son. He be 16. I got a six year old. Uh -huh. Then I got a, a one year old. Okay, okay. So it's like. I was 20, I didn't know what to do. Like, he came out, I'm like, oh, damn, this shit real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it's real. Like, you got, hey, mom, can you still uh, watch the baby? I got to go, you know what I'm saying? Shadow Bar, Bucky Naked, right. gonna be there. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Bucky Naked Sundays, man. Yeah, for sure. Shadow Bar with the swing, man. <laughs> classic, man, classic. Hey, stick on that, man. How you? How did you get the name Bucky Naked? Bo like boring story. It's boring, though. Okay. It's boring as hell, man. I was driving down to uh, Cincinnati. Okay. Um, I was I was bartending and DJing in Dayton, Ohio. So, uh, but then I was driving down Cincinnati, had an on-air shift for my first time to be on air, mm -hmm. full-time shift, and I was watching the Players Club. I remember, everybody had TVs yeah, back in the car sure, back in the day. Sure. <laughs> so I was watching Players Club on the way down there, and when I got to the station, uh, I went to go on air, and I froze. Yeah. I froze. <laughs> so the first thing that came to mind was like, yo, it's Big Greg. I'm Bucky naked in the studio. Where the, you know, yeah. rest in peace, Bernie Mac. Yeah. And it stuck from there. My program director came in the studio running. Did you just say you fucking Bucky naked yeah, on the radio? Yeah, yeah. I said, yeah. He was like, good <laughs> shit. Look at the uh, telephone lines. The lines was lit up and it hey, stuck. Hey. Boring story, though, but that's the yeah, truth, man. I always wanted to know, man. Like, damn, how you get that, man? Like, well, and I had to embrace it. Yeah, man. Back in them days, though, when you was doing the uh, doing the clubs and stuff, Plan B, mm -hmm. Shell Bar Light. Man, it was it was it, it, you had to be there. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? yeah, yeah, yeah. People still talk about that, man. Yeah, I got a lot of love in the clubs. I'm doing that. <laughs> Shell bar with Hamtramck, man. Yep, Hamtramck. I drove by there last like last month. It's, I'm like, damn, it's, it's still open. Nah, it ain't open. Okay, okay. Nigga. I think it's another spot, but it ain't the Shadow Bar. Yeah, man. I, I see some crazy fights. I ain't seen some. You see some wild stuff, man. The swing up front. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> whole lot of ass. Yeah, for sure. For sure. A whole lot. I got trouble with my first relationship going to the clubs all the time. Oh, man. yeah. Me and the wife argue sometimes <laughs> about Bucky Naked Sundays. Definitely. And let me ask you. Was you um was you at Plan B when the whole uh, Young Bird thing happened? No, I was not. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, right, no, I was question. not. <laughs> that chain was nice, though. Yeah, it was all over the place. Yeah, that chain was nice. Yeah, because he was just talking about that... Uh, I saw an interview he did with Mav Hoffa, mm -hmm. and he was just talking about the whole situation about like how he just it wasn't his fault it was the dude he was running with Cap one for because he got into it with Trick and Jug and he like he was a casualty at war like hey man I don't know what happened <laughs> for sure. the chain was nice though yeah. <laughs> for sure for sure man for sure hey man uh what what's some things you learned about yourself new this year man even though you you know say we all getting older like you still find new things about yourself um you know what for the first time in a long time. Uh, since first child, mm. doubt, just a little bit of doubt. Mm. You know what I mean? I went through a little bit of doubt, not mm. depression, but just a little bit of doubt. And I had to just get back on my shit yeah. the way I get back on my shit. Yeah. So I realized that every once in a while, it's, it's okay to be doubtful about certain sure, things. Sure, you sure. know what I mean? Like, I always try to be optimistic about everything, mm. but doubt. Though. Yeah. How, yeah. How, how do you get over that, man? Like depressed, like doubt, like just frustration, like things may not come how you want it to come. Like, how do you get over that? Uh, say fucking is do what you got to do to yeah. make it come that way. I'm not going to even lie to you, for man. Sure, it, was, sure. it was just one of those things where where I was like, yo, it got to get done, so I'm going to do it yeah. by any means necessary. Have you ever doubted yourself to the fact that you might have messed up on an opportunity? Um, not myself, mm -hmm. but uh, I've seen opportunities missed. Yeah, you yeah, know what I mean? For sure, for sure. And just due to unprofessionalism. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because sometimes you can doubt yourself to the fact that you're like, no, I can't do this shit. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Never that. I'm always up for a task. I'm always up for a challenge. Yeah. Like, you know, even mo moving to Detroit was a challenge. No, you for feel sure. Me? I already know. Yeah, gotta be. Gotta be. I, what I heard was Detroit niggas don't fuck with nobody that's not from Detroit. Yes. For me <laughs> to be able to come here and get embraced the way I was, yeah. man, this is a second home to me, man. Because oh, yeah, you from South Bronx? Yeah, South whatever, Bronx. Man, born and like, raised. So uh, I know you had. Um, is the reason you moved to the Midwest was it because of you going to college? In School, Dayton? yep, yep. Oh. University of Dayton got a scholarship. Yeah, I did did what I had to do to get yeah. out the BX. Yeah. Got a scholarship and took found radio. Yeah. You know, Uni University of Dayton was a culture shock for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I Gro like growing up in the Bronx, I got blacks, Hispanics, Puerto Ricans, mm -hmm. Jamaicans, so on and so forth. I go to UD. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not that many of that on, on campus. So yeah, it was sure, a reverse yeah. culture shock. So yeah. you know, I had the adjustments, but I, but I needed that though. Yeah. Be able to you know operate. In the hood and yeah. outside the for hood. Sure. No, you need that for sure. Mm -hmm. I tell my son that all the time. Like he he been in suburban schools, but I coach basketball. He be in the hood too. So okay. he, you kind of get the best of both worlds, and you can navigate and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So like, 
did you move purposely to be able to say, hey, I need to get out of New York, or did you want to attend a New York school and stay uh, around the crib? Nah, they was offering the most money. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they made the most sense Business the decision, yeah. Yeah, for sure. No, that's fast. Again, <laughs> they was offering the most money. I, now, real quick, while we talking about the Bronx in, in, in New York and stuff like that, man, and you, you mentioned that you was a, a mistake DJ back in the day. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between DJs in New York and the outside Outside of your like versus everybody, you know what I'm saying? Because you got K Slay, you got NB, you got Flex. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, what's the difference between them? Cause they, is it the breaking records, like, or is it just because it's the state of New York? The breaking records end, but the state of New York, I think, it got a little bit more to play. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because there's a lot more eyes on it, so they get a lot more e eyes and ears on them. So I mm -hmm. think they just take full advantage of it. But with the internet now, everybody, for sure. you know what I mean? Yeah, it, 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 you the the difference, the gap is is shrinking up. So yeah, for sure, for do sure. your thing. Eyes is everywhere now. Yeah, yeah. But when you think about New York, you think about like I said, freestyles and stuff, and and shout out to uh, Sway in the morning yes. and stuff like that, like. Like, you think about going on Flex and rapping and stuff, even though people with Flex get a lot of hate now. Like, <laughs> you know, but Flex still doing it, though. Yeah, no. Flex still doing it, regardless. Like, I, I fuck with Four Master Flex. Yeah, long One of the time. people I listened to growing up. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. an inspiration of mine when it comes to radio. Now, and just talking my shit. I, I got to ask this question, man. You a New York dude, man. And I've been arguing with people a lot about this question, man. You just had the whole, you know, the whole verses came up on mm -hmm. uh, DJ Khaled, man. Mm -hmm. Dope verse, Hove is the GOAT. Mm -hmm. I always said that. If you just take away everything, production, you just break it down to bars. I always say that Nas mm -hmm. was the better rapper. Nah. <laughs> nah. I'm <laughs> not going to even argue with you. No. <laughs> I mean, this is not. No. <laughs> but nah, but you know what? I, I can see that, though. I mean, I, a lot of people feel that way, and that's a great debate in New York. For I sure. mean, but it's still, but you still missing somebody. Yeah. Big. Oh, yeah, for sure. No, Biggie, yeah, Jay-Z, yeah. and Nas. I mean, it, it's always th those names. Biggie, yeah, Jay-Z, yeah, and Nas. Yeah. But me... I grew up on the Rock Kims, mm -hmm. the KRS Ones, for sure, for the sure. Big Daddy Kings. You understand yeah, what I'm saying? My brother but, always told me like Rock Kim was the was the was the structure. Like yeah, he was the blueprint as far yeah. as like the rapping from the eighties until now. Like he's mm -hmm. the reason why it is it, like sixteen bars. Mm -hmm. Like he's the reason why people count bars like and the, the reason they rap like how they rap is because of Rock Kim. And if more of the younger yeah. rappers paid attention to that, yeah. their verses would be so and much better. It, brother didn't cuss. Didn't like, have to. That's hard, man, for to be a rapper, like to be dope and you don't and you don't cuss. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, shout out to Rock Hill, man. But yeah, Jay Z GOAT. He is. He 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 a GOAT. Shout out to Nasir, but Jay Z. Yeah, man. Do you do you feel like you said big, you do you feel like a big would have been alive that Jay Z is still be at the level he at now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, y'all would have had the commission, like he said. For sure, Big yeah, was still here, yeah. y'all would have had the commission. Yeah. Y'all, it was going, nothing was going to fuck with that. Only one person agreed with me on my Nas and Jay Z, and that was uh, G Mac. Okay, the only person. Not G Mac. Everybody else always be like, man, you dumbass. Like, <laughs> no, nah, I respect it though. I respect yeah. it. Yeah, but see, I'm a, I'm a Pac fan, so that's okay. why I, gra I gravitate towards Nas. I got like, you. And my top three is, 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 is Pac, Nas. You know what I'm saying? And who, who that third? I gotta put big in the third. Okay, you know what I'm, I'm not mad at that top three. Yeah. That's yours. But how, how, <laughs> how, but, but I do say, how dope can somebody be to be a legend stamped off a, a album? Like before, you know, because what's name came out once he, when he mm -hmm. passed away. But mm -hmm. One album kind of put him as the best rapper ever. It, it, it the lyrics though. Yeah. I mean everything. Yeah. I mean, just just just. The body of work alone, you know what I mean, yeah, stands for, sure. for itself. Yeah, 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 man. Salute, Look. salute. You can't go wrong with your answer on this. Nah. Because these goals. That's why when I ask people top five, I say, man, take away the, the, the you know what I'm saying, usual suspects right. and stuff like that. Right, right. You already know you're going you're just gonna to argue with the position, but you're going to have the same four or five every time. Yep, most you know definitely. What I'm most definitely. The last thing I want to ask you about uh, New York, uh, how you feel about the drill music? You feel like that's something that's, gonna, that's here to stay or just a couple year run? It's hard to say, man, because it's getting better. Yeah, it's like yeah. that's the only thing. Like it's getting better. I thought it was gonna be a little quick hit, but it, it's getting better. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I think it might be here for a couple of summers. For sure, for yeah. sure, man. Now, uh, to, growing up, man, usually I don't have too many people as outside. You know, what I'm saying Detroit mm -hmm. stuff, man. So tell me how it was growing up as a, a, a young Greg. <laughs> young Greg, man, I was bad as hell, b. Yeah. Uh, my mother, <laughs> I was bad as hell, but my mother always said I was able to have a conversation with anybody. For sure. She said sure. you could talk to you know a little kid, you could mm -hmm. talk to a nun. I mean, that, that's what always her examples. Mm -hmm. uh, so I kind of heard that so much that. Mm -hmm talking but i was yeah. bad though i yeah. was bad i ain't hold my i ain't hold my tongue for nothing mm -hmm. used to get in trouble for that uh used to like to fight a lot yeah. i mean but it, it was it was fun though man like yeah. it was it was fun growing up because my my neighborhood we everybody we was family for sure you know for what i sure. mean yeah, so yeah, it was yeah. fun though what you uh uh mom pops in the crib brothers sisters pops was in the crib until i was eight he mm -hmm. passed when i was 12 uh, and I'm I'm the only child so okay. so it's been me and mom since i was eight for sure you know what i mean how was that though like was you like 
she was my your dad gone, like you gotta be protector, you know what I'm saying? You oh, gotta yeah, take yeah, your yeah. moms, like she's yeah. the one. Uh it is still to this day. Yeah, me, yeah, me and sure. mom's like, come on, mom, let's go to Vegas. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah, and yeah. we go to Vegas and gamble for three days. You know what I yeah, mean? So sure. it, it come dope. back. That's dope, man. Tired that's dope. of shit, you know? Yeah, shout out to moms. Yeah. Now a lot of times we get our musical influences. From mm -hmm. being at the crib, mm -hmm. mom's cooking, playing Saturday music. morning, cleaning For up. So sure, you already know it's gonna be a good Saturday, man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You smell pancakes and pine sauce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. So what was the music that you was loving just based off of your mom and maybe if you can remember what your dad was playing and stuff like that, like who uh, would you love just because of them? Isley Brothers. Yeah. The Isley Brothers, yeah. Frankie Beverly and Maze. <laughs> um classic. Damn, who's some uh, she used to play Anita Baker back yeah. in the day. For sure. And I'm, now I'm showing my either. age though, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but nah, but either, I, I could definitely when when um Frankie Beverly and Maze came on, I already know it was gonna be a good yeah. Saturday. For sure, for yeah. sure. Yeah, you know Extra bacon. You can kinda know you kinda know the mood <laughs> from the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like how your mom is, like if she's arguing with your pops, mm -hmm, if she's mm -hmm. mad about the about, mm -hmm. about the job, like you kinda know, like I know my mom was slamming stuff a little extra hard, like, oh shit. Yeah, it's gonna be one of them days. Yeah, we gonna, yeah. it's gonna be some old, uh -huh. some, some, some lumpy grits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then you could kind of like, you, she set the mood on how your Saturday gonna be, man. Mm -hmm. My pops was definitely the Isley Brothers, man. Whenever I came on, I was like, all right, pops, I know what you trying to do. <laughs> For sure. All right. <laughs> Try to set the mood right, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. So, what you, uh, you know what I'm saying, into, into sports or like? Um, baseball, okay. football. Uh, bowling, believe it or not. Yeah. Uh, but those those were the joints, though. Okay. Now, yeah, yeah. I always ask this question, man. You know what I'm saying? What's something that you wanted to be that you never told nobody or some silly shit? Like, me, I, I was watching Gregory Hines as a, as a young mm -hmm. age. I wanted to be a tap dancer. Though. Okay. Okay. Never, that's dope, though. Yeah, never went for it. Now, right. my mind had money for no lessons, but, right. <laughs> you know, what's something that people don't know that you wanted to be as a young man? An astronomer. Oh, for real? Yeah, believe uh -huh. it or not, man. Yeah. See, you would have never thought that, right? What, 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 was, what was your infatuation with it, man? Uh, it was just something about stars. Like, you know what I mean? Sure. Whenever whenever I got sent down south for the summertime, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, down south, no lights, you know, different, completely different for sure. city. You could see, see a thing. So, uh, yeah. I was in, like, like I needed a telescope. Yeah. I remember saving up to get my telescope, and it's just something about the stars that always... Something that still... It's, it's something that still you, you I, I'll still look up from yeah, time to time, like, and be able to uh, point out constellations and whatnot. Man, me and my wife be just tripping out. Just we be, I mean, we just talk about crazy stuff. We was just talking about like how it's so much that's undiscovered. Like, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, so many yeah. galaxies that you would never know about. Like, yeah, man, yeah. And it's kind of wild. It's kind of weird. Like to really think about. Like, you just never. It's, it it got to be another life form somewhere in this. But that's hands can't, down. Can't just be us we, here, it, man. It, man. We would be stupid if they think. We would be stupid if we think it's only us. For sure, for sure. Like for sure. it has to be, dog. Yeah, Look I, how complicated we are. No, you know what <laughs> I mean, it gotta be some other, other motherfuckers out there. But I've always been intriguing, like, and, and that, and also like the ocean, like mm -hmm. how so much of it is undiscovered too. Mm -hmm. Like those two things you would never know, like mm -hmm. ever, ever. Yeah, so. I don't fuck with the ocean though. <laughs> <laughs> no, for sure. No, not at all. Nah, I come up to the ankles. That's it. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Give me an album or a song, man. It could be from your past. It could be from your present. Every time you hear this song or this album, it take you back to a time and tell me what time that is. Um, let's see. Well, I was gonna name a Nas nice song. I ain't gonna do it just <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, because, just because of that. I'm not gonna name the Nas nice song. Um, but Biggie, I got a story to tell. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you know I mean, um. I, I just remember some of the bullshit that I was doing at that time. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yo, this story kind of, yeah, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. I can relate to it in certain ways. Not as extensive as the story that Big was telling, but yeah. just, just some of the shit that I'm I'm happy I'm still here. Okay. You yeah, feel for me? Sure, for sure. You feel me? For sure. Yeah, 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 man. Hey, I got a story to tell, man. Yeah, when I... <laughs> When I, I, mine just be corny though. My songs, I'll be hearing be corny. Take me back to stuff, man. <laughs> like, like. <laughs> What's one of yours? It's a Ray J song. <laughs> <laughs> what I hit it first. <laughs> <laughs> It was a Ray J song, man. It was uh, Let's Play House okay, from his damn. album Radiation. I remember that. And it was just because uh, at the time my uh my oldest son mom was pregnant. Okay. And my wife, we got our two youngest kids, and oh. so my high school girlfriend, we had my oldest son. Uh -huh. I remember one time she was in, we was at, just chilling, and that song came on, and then she was like, "You about to have our kid?" And we all she all emotional and junk. So I hear that Ray J song, take me back to that time, <laughs> in my mama in my in my mama house in my room in the twin bed. Listen to Ray J, let's play house. Like, damn. Like, damn, I might be a dad for real. For real. <laughs> so, yeah, that, but mine's always been corny, man. Like, Ray J, Hammer. Hammer. Like, you okay. know what I'm saying? Okay, he we went back, back. Yeah, yeah, for Bobby sure. Bobby Brown, my prerogative. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> for sure. Staying on that, your first favorite rapper, like, coming up, your first one, like. Rock him. Rock him? Okay. Yeah, Rock him. Okay. Hands down. 
And was it cause like the way he rapped or just uh shit, check out my melody. You know what I mean? I I came in the door, said it before, I'm like, what? For sure, for sure. You know what I mean? Who I know Big Greg got some flows somewhere, man. You got, they, you got they, nah, they 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 was back in back in the day, man. I left that alone. <laughs> you had rap dreams, man? How long was it? It, it, it uh college. That's it, it lasted three and a half years, yeah. four years. That I'm not like, You got like anything that. That, that that that's like tucked in that's that was recorded? Yeah, but they never find a day like <laughs> it never y'all never hear it. If you had to who 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 style you was trying to like kinda of mimic a little bit? Wu Tang's. Wu Tang? Yeah. You feel like they get the love they deserve? Never. They yeah. never. But they should though. They should. Somebody down here don't ready is it now big Wu Tang <laughs> now big Wu Tang man. They should though, man. It's, it's too it's too many of them not to like them as a crew. Yeah, for sure. And and they nice. Yeah. Now all of them might not be as nice. Yeah. I'm we I'm not gonna say all of them are nice, yeah. but you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you yeah, know, yeah. there's always a couple of weak links in the crew that for sure, anybody for else sure. got to carry. For sure, no, for sure, fast. But they did, like I said, they did. They made a big, a big, you know what I'm saying? A, a big impact. Yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I, Rock, or, uh, um, Method Man was always my dog, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and, and he's still doing his thing with the acting, like yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, they, they was they was definitely RZA, you know. Yep. All of them was dope and stuff. Would you one of those New York dudes who just don't fuck with nothing outside of New York as far as music? Nah, nah, nah. I would, not at all. Cause I, time, I, fuck, I fuck with the West. Yeah. I yeah. mean, Snoop, you couldn't go wrong with Snoop and Dre back in the day. No, you couldn't. I wasn't a, uh, I, I'm an NWA fan, but not a big NWA yeah, fan, you know what sure. I mean? For but, sure. But yeah, you can't go wrong. The Ice Cube is still one of my, he's actually one of my favorite rappers. I don't think he get the love that he deserves as an MC. He doesn't. He they don't ever talk about him as like top rappers. Like, he held it down for that group. He was the, he was he was the, the group. Pen. You know what I'm saying? He's yeah. the pen. Yeah, Easy E was the voice. He was mm -hmm. the pen. Because I say Easy got one of the most unique rap voices ever. Mm -hmm. Does definitely. You know, you, I, I, I think he got a dope rap voice. But Ice Cube was the, you know, what I'm saying he was the person behind everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I just don't think he get the love. Like he held the West Coast down for a long time. Long time. Then he Still came over here to New York mm -hmm. and did his thing over here too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Once he left NWA, so you, uh, you in high school? You say you left. You went to Dayton, uh, Ohio for uh, college and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Like. During those college years, did you see like radio on your radar? I knew it as soon as I got there. Like I said, I needed something to do. It was a reverse culture shock. Mm -hmm. So I was bored. I was ready to go. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't none of my flavors on campus. So, yeah. <laughs> like, like you feel me? Yeah. So I was ready to go and I had to find something to say. They had radio auditions. I went out my freshman year and I held the radio show from my freshman year all the way to my senior year. Oh, wow. Same yeah, time yeah, slot, yeah. Friday nights. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. It was just you? Yep. Okay. Well, I had, I had a, the, the fellas would come up there, but. Mm -hmm. As people fall off, as I started to take it more serious, yeah. everybody started falling off. And now yeah. you did uh, once you graduated, you did your two, your first two years in uh, radio in, in, in Dayton, Ohio. Ohio. Yep. What yep. was what was uh, how was that? Like was that something that you you know what I'm saying? Because you did two years, then you came to Detroit. Mm -hmm. Was now, I did two years in Dayton, Ohio. Then I did Cincinnati for seven and a half years. Okay. Then I came to Detroit. Yep. Okay. So with the Ohio run, was that something you thought you was gonna be there forever? Nah, 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 nah. I knew that. I knew it was stepping stones. Mm -hmm. You know, because my whole thing when I got into radio, once I understood the business of radio, it was all about market size. So mm -hmm. you want to move up the market. For sure. So. Uh, Dayton, I can't remember what, what number market it was, but I know Cincinnati was in the top 20. Mm -hmm. So I knew once I got to Cincinnati, well, we got to go up top 10. Mm -hmm. Detroit was top 10 when I, when I first moved up. Sure. Yeah. Now, now you, you come to Detroit, you start off here, you say that you, you know, saying Detroit don't really mess with nobody outside. That's true. You know what I'm saying? They, they, do, they do gravitate and adapt, mm -hmm. some, adapt some people. But how was your first initial year coming to Detroit being on the radio? Like, was it tough? Was it easy? Was it simple? Um, I got. I got to thank. I got to thank the team at the radio station. I. I will say they made it pretty seamless. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Now nothing. Nothing's easy. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because I still got to go out there. I had to come out here and win people over. Sure. You feel me? But I got to thank the team at the radio station. Spud, Smiley, uh, everybody in promotions. Like they. They made sure they had a plan for me. Mm -hmm. And they was like, "Yo, this is the plan. Mm -hmm. Fuck with it. Yeah, I fuck with that. Let's stick to the plan." And, and it worked. And you been on radio one all this time. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So like so, was it really like is it ever like real beef between like Radio right. One, JLB, like <laughs> nah, man. Because growing up as a young, you like I remember taking call and said the wrong radio station one time. He hung up on me quick. Yeah, I still do that. <laughs> yeah, I still do that. It's, just, it's just not. It's no beef. It's just yeah. you know who you call it. For sure. <laughs> I, I was nervous though. Like uh uh. So like, is ever like you know what I'm saying? Just, nah, uh, I I love them brothers over there. Yeah. I, I love Darius Bushman. I lo I love them. You know, like Tune yeah. Up Mason. They they all competition. But sure. hey, when you see us out, if y'all ever see us together you never know love. you yeah. know what i mean you never know who the first person that kind of like 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 or showed you the most love with detroit man because like you said we got trick trick mm -hmm. you know he only know nothing to fly you already know like yeah yeah i mean but yeah trick was yeah trick, Al back then. We trick, had, trick Al new uh sino and um sino was one of the first people that i met when i came up here as far as interview wise mm -hmm. but yeah I, I got the stamp from trick early for sure you for know sure, what i mean so sure. that, yeah. that, that's the homie right there yeah. how do you feel about 
the no fly zone because I understand, I get it. Cause we, me and my cousin were talking about this, and he was like, he didn't understand what it was. I'm like, well, you know, people back then was coming to the city and wasn't, mm -hmm. you know, what I'm saying breaking bread and like that, and they were just kind of coming in and getting money, getting out. Mm -hmm. So, do you think he was doing the no fly zone to show show more love to the local rappers back then, or would just show love to the city? It it was it was both. Okay. It was from from me breaking it down. Yeah, you know mm -hmm. I mean, so I you still got to ask him, but okay, I, sure. I thought it was needed mm -hmm. when it happened. Um, I think it could have played out in different ways. Mm -hmm. Um, from the way it was reported. Okay, you understand yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Sure, yeah. So, but uh, everything that he did was necessary. And look, it took a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, look yeah. where we at now with it too. Look yeah. what the no fly zone turned into. No, for so sure. So I, I credit a lot of of the attention that Detroit's getting yeah. started kind of with that. You know what no, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everything yeah. that happened there. Yeah. Now, what year exactly did you come to Detroit? Oh seven. Oh seven. So that's like you still here when the early rap, like rap, like I remember. Uh, what's um Dirty Glove Network? Mm -hmm, Dirty mm -hmm. Glove Network and stuff like that. When what year Blade passed away? Uh, was it oh eight? Okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, how do you, like music back then? Like Detroit scene wasn't how it is right now. Detroit rap is on the radar. Like everybody mm -hmm. mess with mm -hmm. Detroit. Everybody taking the sound like. How did you feel about those rappers back then who kind of like paved the way for it now? Like, what what you think? Why you think we didn't get that love? Cause I always thought KDZ should have had a deal back then. Man, I, mean, I was just about to say yeah. his name. Um, I, I don't know what the timing is. It's all about timing at mm -hmm. the end of the day. Like in 07, we was on a, a down south swing at that particular oh, no, point in time. Yeah. Uh, like Snapping music, fingers, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, it, and, and Detroit definitely wasn't doing that. No, like, you no, understand what I'm all. saying? Uh, uh, so, I, I think it was just the timing. Mm -hmm. And now, to me, Everybody's starting to sound like Detroit rappers. Oh no, for sure. I don't care what nobody say. Oh nah, we we your your, your cousin city. Nah, y'all sound like yeah. Detroit rappers. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. I heard some cats in Cali that sound like they from the D. Yeah, yeah. If it's the same people I'm talking about, they was they sound just like Peasy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, you feel what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah, man. But I think it's just like you know, I, I feel like Detroit style, New York style too, been mm -hmm. mimicked for a while. Yeah, you I mean that's saying? when you know you wanted something. Yeah. Who who wore Tim's first? <laughs> I was like, I, crazy quit, I already know. <laughs> Come on now. Come on. Yeah, but the Detroit sound, like right now, I'm, I'm glad that we getting in love mm -hmm. right now, you know what I'm saying? Because back then, we wasn't getting that love at right. all. People was kind of afraid. I think they was afraid to kind of mess with us. That, maybe, you yeah. know, yeah. For what you hear about Detroit yeah. when we were back then. And I feel like what's the name is kind of like what's the, what's the group that kind of like broke everything for us was a uh, Doughboy Cash. Yes, most definitely. I felt like even though he did, didn't go as, as uh, how he wanted it with uh, Atlantic. Mm-hmm. I felt like once they got, once they came, mm -hmm. it kind of like it went up for us. That was big for the city. Yeah. That was huge for the city. I, I was proud of them boys. Even even when BJ, when DJ BJ, shout out to DJ BJ, when he first dropped it, I'm like, yo, this shit is fire, yeah. nigga. Yeah, for sure. I'm like it's fire. Yeah, I was hating too. I want to be a rapper. I was like, damn man, <laughs> fuck everybody. <laughs> I want to be a rapper, dog. Yeah. But no, that was definitely they definitely uh kind of like you know saying got the stuff going for, mm -hmm. for Detroit, man. Mm -hmm. You being a, a mistape DJ back in the day. Was there ever an artist you felt that should have blew up that didn't? You know what? It's it's a cat in Cincinnati. His name is Showtime. I okay. ain't gonna even hold you up. It's a cat in Cincinnati. He had beef with the game. Yeah. Uh, real quick. <laughs> so game came to a club called the Rich down in Cincinnati, and game was like, "Yo, I'll sign a nigga right now. Mm -hmm. Ten thousand right now. G give him a chain right now. Who's the hottest nigga in Cincinnati?" Mm -hmm. So. Um, Showtime came back, came to the club and whatnot, and he heard it. He went up there and started spitting. Okay. Right? And I guess he was he said something. He was like, oh, what the fuck did he say? He said, we'll, we, we'll rob a rap cat. That's mm -hmm. a Cincinnati state of mind, right? Yeah, 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 so yeah. game it looked like he took offense to that line. Yeah, yeah. So then he started spitting. And then they kind of had an <laughs> impromptu back. battle like yeah. right there. But... Yeah, Showtime. Yeah, yeah. And I, he kind of got blackballed when mm -hmm. he dropped a couple of diss records, though. For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah you, and that, that happened to I me, mean, man. but the diss records was nice, though. <laughs> they was for nice. Sure. Showtime from Cincinnati. Yeah. I'm like, he go, he go by MBM Showtime now. Okay, okay. MBM Showtime. Now, as a mistake DJ, would you like, would you break a new artist or trying to, like, all right, man, you dope. I need to go ahead and get you out here and stuff like that? Uh, you know what? I could still go down to Cincinnati and get a lot of love from Cincinnati artists. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, that, and that's that's when I was doing the mixtapes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, but yes, I, I definitely. Felt like it was a lot of people down there that could have got on. How long because Cincinnati had a uh, we had a spotlight on us at that time, mm -hmm. and then the whole thing with Ti and his manager happened. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that kind of shut the door on what 
was going on in the city at that point. It broke everything down. Yeah. Huh? Hey, but it's crazy like, how one little thing can kind of like fuck it up for a whole city or a whole state, man. That's why I tell everybody every day, be safe when I get yeah. off the radio. Yeah, Be man. safe. Damn, man. Damn. Yeah, hey, y'all. Hey, man. Keep this shit going, man. We got to stay in these people here, man. You feel me? Even with the movies, like... We on, we on Tubi. Tubi, what? <laughs> That's Detroit Tubi. Yeah, for sure. Every time you go in there, was a movie. Like, damn, he tell me about a movie every, mm -hmm. every day. Like, mm -hmm. we ain't, we ain't took over day on Tubi, dog. Man, so as what what do you feel what went wrong with the mistakes back then? Was it the whole DJ drama thing? Yeah, that that was the downfall of it. Yeah. That was the downfall of it. Yeah. Man. He was making money. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, we was making money off of other people's stuff, and mm -hmm. they wasn't getting paid. So, for sure. And yeah. then yeah. internet came around too. Oh, yeah, it was a wrap. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Do you feel like people you? Can they even really consider they projects mixtapes when you got original music, original you know beats yeah. and stuff like that? Yeah, you can, you can. I mean, that, that's still a mixtape. Yeah, it's, it's take the origin away. Like it, it all depends on how you package it, though. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. Cause when I think about mixtapes, I think about Wayne just going take your beat and just go crazy on it. Yeah, but I mean, but if you do that on your original beat, I mean, you, st you still got to introduce something original in there. You yeah, know what I mean, no. spit, but still do something original in yeah, there. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Shout out to the mistakes, man. Yes. I, used to, I used to be on there, uh, just burning mistakes on there. Then, like I said, once it crossed over to the internet, you got uh, live mistakes. Mis yep. And then I remember getting uh, viruses, getting line right, right line right, yeah, burn stuff. Like, Computer be fucked up. Yeah, like <laughs> damn, like, hey, I ain't doing uh, like yeah. Uncle Tony. I messed up his career. Mm -hmm. I ain't never told him though. Yep. It's either line wire or porn site. You was messing your joint oh, up. Oh man. <laughs> And you can never get out the porn fast enough. <laughs> Go to control, alt, delete. Like, you trying to end that boy real quick. Facts. Facts. <laughs> man, hey, hey how, when, what's the secret, man? Like, how, sticking around with radio, man, being a radio personality, man, because, like, you know, we ain't seen so many come and go. Mm -hmm. And for you, it'd be, been doing it since, you know, since 2007, man. What, what, what's, what's your secret to sticking around? I love it, man. Like, yeah. I, I still love it. You, you might not always like, uh, your co-workers mm -hmm. but if you love what you do yeah for sure fuck them yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i mean, yeah. I mean no, what's yeah. the what's the, the there's no other way to put it respectfully yeah. you know what i mean no, you, if you love if you find something that you love with what you do and you get up every day to do it mm -hmm. fuck what anybody else think about yeah, it you know what i mean sure. let's, let's go could you ever see yourself like working a regular job yeah like, like yeah. was there a point that you like said fuck radio you was gonna just like uh i'm at that point now okay um but I still got things to do. Yeah, yeah. You know what well, I mean? Why why are you at that point? Is it because it is radio dwindling? Nah, I don't think radio's dwindling. Uh it's just radio the radio that, that's going on now is mm -hmm. different from the way I was taught radio. Okay. You feel okay, me? Okay. And and it's easy to adapt and adjust, so on and so forth, but a, a lot of it is fake. Yeah, 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 yeah. You understand yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. A lot of a lot of is 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 reality, whatever mm -hmm. you want to call it. Is it fake it. with just like like the relationships, or is it fake with just like how it's carried on, or like? I just rather them have genuine radio people on the radio. Okay. And it's not a lot of genuine radio people. It's no, it's. I get you it. understand what I'm I saying? Get it, I get it. Yeah. Shout out to what's name though. I remember she was on the show. She charged you out, man. T two times. T two times. I love yeah, T two times. She gave you a lot of love, and she was just telling me her story about how like she grinded for years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. T used to come in the studio and hang out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So like. When you say like like fake stuff like somebody like that for example who just grinding mm -hmm. who coming up there showing that they really want to be about that mm -hmm. do you need more people like that or just people who just want to jump in and think like hey i need this right now i don't have to go through no grind. I, 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 I would rather people that grind okay I, I have more respect for the people that grind because sometimes when something is given to you mm -hmm. you don't appreciate it as much as as you do as, if you earned it you feel me do you feel like with social media though that's, that's life now yeah yeah like, I mean, <laughs> it's but, almost like like working hard is like not in the question no more but see, but that's the that's the problem. Like, you, you understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I social media. I, I use social media for the radio. Yeah, and, no, it's funny you say that. We were just talking about that. Cause I'm like, I was trying, I was doing research, looking for stuff. I'm like, man, like his his social media is about the radio. Yeah, about a club. Yeah. About, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, it, it don't make no sense. That's what yeah. it, that's what it's for. Is it, I live in real life. I like I'm, real life better than social media life. I was gonna say. Is it still because you got those old school rules and principles? I mean, shit. I look at like, yes. <laughs> at, at, at the end of the day, you didn't want people to know everything you was doing back sure, in the day. For sure. You understand know what I'm yeah. saying? So, and I'm still like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, don't you think like in a way they can use it if it's positive? Like if you, because like a lot of times I know when I look at interviews, I want to know more about the person than just okay, you dropped the album, mm -hmm. song number two. Like I kind of want to know more about them. So social media, you kind of like introduce people to you. And then it kind of make them want to buy into what you got going on. It, I I don't fault nobody for that. Do your mm -hmm. thing. It's just not me. <laughs> yeah. It's just What's not it? me. Have you ever like uh, uh, about to post something like, oh, this shit corny? 
Nah, nah, nah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I post with I, I post with a purpose. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sure. I ain't gonna spend too much time on it. Uh-huh. The most time I might spend on is the caption. Like, yeah, make sure people yeah. everything is in there. Make sure my auto my, my shit is spelled right. <laughs> <For sure. laughs> yeah, me? man. But yeah, I think now like with social media, man, I was telling my son that like some people don't know how to use it. Nah. It's too much, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's too much personal stuff. It's too much just corny shit. Mm-hmm. It ain't never like if you if you're a rapper, dog, you, you know what I'm saying? Focus on that. Focus on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So that's 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 something I believe like with this new generation. What they like, say, clout? Yeah, sure, yeah. Lord have sure. mercy. But so they they clickbait, all that yeah. stuff, man. Like no don't, don't nobody want to work hard at nothing anymore though. Nah. Like my son Hoop, I'm like, bro, you gotta go to the gym. You gotta hoop. You gotta this live in the gym. Come, yeah, yeah. This junk ain't gonna come to you, man, at mm-hmm. all. And speaking of that, like as far as who's the people your, your OGs you looked up to because like I said Hoopers look at other Hoopers mm-hmm. rappers look at other rappers who would you looking at like damn I, I love his style like let me take a little piece of that and put it in my shit oh shit that's a granddad up there burning okay. some food up okay let's make sure <laughs> okay. okay yeah we in the hood man we down man, that's how we supposed to do it man yeah. you know what um, I actually I actually looked up to my uh, my Uncle Joe okay. believe it or not man uh, military man military man for f- 40 years okay so he, he found something that he was that he liked he mm-hmm. stuck with it, mm-hmm. kind of like me. You know what I mean? I yeah. found something that I like, love, and I'm sticking with it. So it was always my uncle. I always uh, peep my uncle Joe. Was there ever anything else that kind of like could have took you from radio before you even started? Um, Cause I, you, I know you said as soon as you got to college, like you like, all right, I'm yeah, ready. Yeah, I got yeah, I got to do. I had was, to do it. Was, um, I got a minor in psychology, so mm-hmm. if anything, I could have went further with that. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that, yeah. but that, that would probably would have been it. But yeah. I actually used some of the stuff that I learned in my psychology classes on the radio. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Had radio saved your life? Like, do you think radio made you the person you are now? Definitely. Or without definitely. radio, you kind of like could have went to a different. Yeah, definitely. Different I, route. I probably would definitely been a different route. Yeah. Had I so. not gotten out of New York when I did, I definitely would have been a different route. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I say the same thing because, like, I say like me, but me having like older people, like kind of like. Helped me like not gravitate towards the hood or right, right, stuff right. and stuff like that. And I had the opportunity to move and go to Texas and see something different. Mm-hmm. So when I came back home, I'm like, damn. I love Detroit, but yeah, 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 <laughs> it's yeah. rough here, though. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Make you appreciate it, though, at the same time, though. No, fast. They do. Because, like, no matter how bad people talk about New York, me, or uh, Detroit, mm-hmm. when you leave, you always want to come back. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If you don't come back, you you probably got something going on with you. Yeah. <laughs> Your <laughs> ass, though, you can't come back. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Now, Going back to the internet and social media and stuff, like, and you saying, like, you know saying, you almost at that point where you kind of, like, done with the radio. Mm-hmm. A couple of years ago, radio was needed mm-hmm. for artists, to break an artist. Nowadays, social media, mm-hmm. your, uh, uh, different webs, you, you mm-hmm. streaming, mm-hmm. like, is, it, is radio still important to, to a new artist? I think it is. I mean, mm-hmm. uh, all artists, you said back in the day, radio was needed, but now all artists, when they first get signed, the first thing they want to do is like, can hey, you get my song on the radio? Mm-hmm. Like, you understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's still needed. People might not, uh, they got other avenues where they can listen to uh, music and whatnot, but yeah. at the end of the day, you, you still going to turn on your radio for a second. Even if it's for 10 yeah. minutes, you're yeah, still yeah. going to turn your radio for on. Sure. How, how annoying is that, man? Because you, you being on the radio, mm-hmm. you being in the clubs and stuff, how, how many times have you had, I know there's been numerous times people, hey, can play this? Oh, yeah. I mean, but... That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you believe in your project, that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Promote yeah. yourself. I'm not mad at that. Was there somebody that you actually like, damn, like this dude actually dope? It's been a couple of people, man. Yeah. I, I, G Mac Cash was one of the first. Yeah. I'm like, yo, G Mac is a fucking phenomenon. Yeah. Like, he you is, feel me? He is. He is. Why don't I asked him this, and he was like, I don't understand why people don't go to him more for features. I don't know. If they like knew he, better, they do yeah, better. And, he, and the thing about it is people see what go viral and stuff and mm-hmm. how you talk about different things that go on, but g Mac can actually rap. rap. Yeah, he can you rap. The brother can rap. Yeah, so do you ever think that he'll get the love that he deserves? Because I told him I don't think he get the love, the love that he deserves as being an MC. And he, what he do is tough because can't nobody really do what he, he do. He will, man. He will. I mean, but that's the grind he on right now. Yeah. You feel me? Like, it, he, 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 you know he go viral. He could, he could come up with a song in 20 minutes <laughs> exactly. about anything. Exactly. You feel me? Uh, But he, he on his grind right there. Yeah. Now, and that grind gonna pay off. And when I seen the giant slide thing, I I, I did him like, dog, I know a song coming. Mm-hmm. And he started mm-hmm. laughing like, I know mm-hmm. a song coming, man. And he, it was on what? It was on CNN. CNN. Uh, they oh, made Washington Post. Yeah, yeah. They New put York on... Times. Like everybody know about the giant slide right now. Yes, <laughs> yes. Hey man, that's, don't go in that giant slide. That's a different giant slide. <laughs> they ain't the one I grew up on. That was yellow, man. That yeah, different engineers, right? <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Do you ever see a time when this radio just completely gone? Nah, it's always gonna be there. Because you, you, if, if when it comes to finding out information about the city, mm. local information, mm. radio is gonna go be there. there. You you're not, there. you're not gonna find it on social media. You're not yeah. gonna find it on Spotify, title, whatever you listen to. For sure, I, I say it because 
remember the newspaper was a big thing. Right. The newspaper, like, do you, I don't even see them no more. Right. So that's why I say, like, with the, with, with the, uh, you say look for your news, but a lot of times your news be Twitter. Yeah. News be on Facebook yeah. and stuff like yeah. that. So I just, I always wonder, like, and, and I think it's other ways, like, do you see, like, radio merging with podcasting? Because podcasting is a big thing right now. I, I can see it happening. Yeah. I mean, some of these stations might end up becoming podcast stations. Mm -hmm. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but in, in the meantime, it, it, radio's still going to be needed. No, Because sure. even, even on podcasts, even if, when it comes to podcasts, you're going to talk about certain things in the city. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, so yeah. You, you'll have to have some kind of local content when it comes to your podcast. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So radio, that's why I say radio is always going to be needed. How do you feel about the, about the podcast game? Like? Hey, I salute everybody that's doing it. Mm -hmm. I salute everybody mm -hmm. that's doing it. I, I think it's dope. Um, keep doing it. Yeah. Keep doing it. You ever see yourself like kind of like wanting to do something different? Man, I've been getting so many... <laughs> People wanting me to do a podcast yeah. and like, well, you should start your own podcast. Bucky naked podcast. When, when, man. when, when it drop, y'all, y'all see it. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. I, until then, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I, <laughs> <laughs> but no, it definitely. I I believe that radio should merge with you know what I'm saying with with podcasts. I right. think it'd be dope for both right. for both sides. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because with podcasts now, like some podcasts do break music. Some you know what I'm saying right. artists that you would never hear. Right. But you know what though, radio does have something called block programming. Yeah. So where you could go up there and pay for your show for mm. two hours time slot. Mm. That's your show. Yeah. For Bring sure. your podcast to the radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean. <laughs> so if y'all need, you know, y'all holla at me. I could set that up. For sure. Yeah, <laughs> man. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be dope, man. That'd be dope. Now you, like you said, you've been doing this for a minute. Mm -hmm. Do you ever think back, like, damn? I wish I can be doing what I'm doing in Detroit and Cincinnati and Dayton in New York. I mean, yeah, that's always, I mean, that's always been a, 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 a the end all be all for me. Mm -hmm. If I get a job in New York radio, cool. I, I've accomplished a personal goal. Yeah. You know what I mean? And if it don't happen, okay, cool. Yeah, but, yeah, for sure. but that's always been an end all. I don't care if it's on the air, behind the scenes, whatever. If it's a, a New York, I will have a New York job in radio at some point. For sure, for sure. Oh yeah, that'd be, that'd be that'd be definitely dope. It's like you know what I'm saying when you come back to the crib when you playing basketball, you know. What yeah. I'm, saying? I'm, I'm coming back to the Pistons. Like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> go Knicks. Oh, <laughs> hey man, hey hey, New York man. We stick with hey, we stick with it. I'm this saying, is hard. Yeah, you know I mean, hey, ride or die. I say I compare New York Knicks fans to Detroit Lions fans. Oh yeah, because I've probably never seen him win a championship in my lifetime. Man, you be like <laughs> every year. I said this year, Lions gonna go ten and seven. <laughs> <laughs> Like our lives gonna go ten seven, man. My Knicks not even make the playoffs this year. The man. Pistons gonna make the playoffs this year though. I think so, man. But the Knicks they got they got it, but I just don't I, I don't th first I think they need a younger they should have Mark Jackson as the coach. Mm -hmm. You know, Mark so Jackson so. should be coaching in the NBA somewhere. No, he definitely should be coaching uh, and I, he should definitely be with the New York Knicks, man. I love it. You know what I'm saying? But I just think y'all man, it's like y'all that draft pick, man, it's like y'all be fucking hey, man, up. Is a great dude right here. Let me get the other nigga. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yep. So I get it. I used to love the Knicks. Like Melo is like one of my favorite players ever. Hands and down. I feel like man, that year when it was him, Amari, Raymond Felton, like uh, Shump, like yep. J.R. Smith, mm -hmm. like, they had, they was there, man. Yep, they was. They, they was. was there. I, I was hype. I thought it was gonna happen. We made it to the playoffs that year. Got yep. our first playoff series win in a long yep, ass yep. time. They should have beat what's name the Pacers, man. But y'all shouldn't have got rid of what's name and hired D'Antoni. I mean, just. What's my man Mike? Oh, no, what was the black dude name? I, I know you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, but with the mustache. Yeah, <laughs> but they 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 just come on, man. Ownership at the Knicks. Mm. Dolan needs to be gone. And he like Jerry Jones. They would never they would never leave. Yeah. Until they until they demo, until yeah. they pass away. I mean, yeah. God forbid. But you know that's the only way they gonna lose that team, man. Mm -hmm. Like how do you feel though being from New York, man? Like that's always been a dream of mine. It's like I want to sit courtside at New York Knicks game. Me too. Yeah, <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> I don't make that yet, though. <laughs> but how's how is it going to mass massing uh, a square guard, man? Like fire, man. I I, I remember the uh, the Knicks Bull series back in the oh, day, man. man. Like Classic. like I was in the garden when when uh, Starks dunked on. Oh, you know what I mean? The Jordan. dunk. You know yeah, what I mean? That's yeah. the dunk. I was in the garden for that. I was in the garden when our Knicks got sent home a couple of times. Yeah, you know what I mean? So it just just being able to see Michael Jordan play for sure. in the garden was for fire. Sure. Yeah, you know what I mean? I know you was hurt that one year. Y'all could y'all could have won, man. Houston went. Yeah, yeah, man. Allen Houston, man. That's one person I don't get talked about, boy. I would piss if you got rid of Allen Houston, boy. He, mm -hmm. was, he was nice. He was man. cold. He was nice. Now, it's a nuke, too. Yo, yo. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, New York, man, and one. Mm -hmm. They had a documentary that just came out, man. One, it was on uh, ESPN 30 for 30. Mm -hmm. Then you just had another one on Netflix, man. Um, I know you probably grew up, but you, you know that era with Skip and stuff mm -hmm. like that, man. What's your, what's your thoughts on, 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 that, on that street ball 
and one and stuff like that. Like, and what do you feel like they went wrong? Um, the and one in the street ball shit was fire. Like yeah. that, that was something. It was for the streets. Yeah, for you sure. feel what I'm saying? Sure. Um, but you know, in, in in watching them boys play, if if we smoking together right before you play. <laughs> <laughs> <For sure. laughs> like you feel you feel yeah. what I'm saying so that yeah. I, don't get me wrong I know some NBA players that might smoke no, before, oh no, before fast, they play fast, too fast, but fast, fast. but at that point we wasn't as you know as, you know accepted as it is now but yeah. that that's where they went wrong yeah at. man yeah man it was a lot of it was a lot of weed and alcohol with the no. street walkers <laughs> man for sure for sure and like I mean man Skip I remember watching that first take with Skip's my loop mm -hmm. I'm like who is this dude mm -hmm. out there I'm trying to study your moves and stuff man get your take before the action man like yeah. man Skip was that dude uh, rest in peace to Ali Mo yep Ali Mo was cold and then you had Escalade Escalade like, rest in peace they don't yeah. talk about him though. this dude was heavy like that move yeah. man yeah dunking <laughs> like it was nothing yeah like Mark Jackson brother yep. speaking of Mark Jackson yep. man I felt like they went wrong because they were they were owned by some white dudes who didn't know what to do with it and I think you said this I think they wanted to be inside the basketball NBA market mm -hmm. but they settled for the street ball mm -hmm. made mm -hmm. money but didn't pay them how, you, how they supposed I, to be paid I, I, like, I like that yeah. I like that I'm not going to disagree with you on that yeah cause Shane Shane the dribble machine mm -hmm. they was just talking about like how like they, they said it was like 30,000 they could have they could have got a whole lot more yeah money. like you yeah. can do security and get that like yeah. you know what i'm saying but, but you know culture vultures are culture vultures for sure so and for if sure. we allow them to still be vultures on the culture yeah. this is what we're gonna get and my cousin worked for n1 during that time he was an intern then he started working mm -hmm. he said that they had turned down a deal with g unit that's why 50 and then went to reebok okay they went to n1 first okay but he's like dog you see that this dude was the biggest rapper at the time mm -hmm. from new york mm -hmm. why sure. not why not? Yeah, sign him. Yeah, Do something and, with and it. He, at the time, like I said, that's why he kind of like went away from Ja Rule to him because mm -hmm. he was like street. Yeah. Like, all right, this what, and he was like, you know, watch, watch that documentary. Like, damn, he did Ja bad. He did him bad. <laughs> did him bad. And then started singing. Yeah, yeah. Started that's doing the whole thing. He did the, he took, he got rid of Ja and did, did the job. Man, for sure. For sure. So, Shout out to 50, though, man. I don't want no problems next time I see him, though. Oh, no, no. <laughs> and now, this ain't, if you want to answer it, man, but do you feel like 50. Blowing up the way he did, dissing Fat Joe, dissing Jada Kiss, Ja Rule. Do you feel like that was kind of like the start of an end of like a New York era? Because like nah. you know, right after you know, that's when you started in the South popping. Nah, nah, nah. I wasn't in the era. I mean, that was hip hop. I mean, it, it, he, he was in the era to end, but you know, it kind of put a pause in a little bit. Um, nah, I don't, I don't think so. The, the South just had a, a better sound that's coming up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Everybody, we went to dancing. That's all it was. It no, wasn't. No, you did. You know, people wanted to dance. Yeah, yeah, man. So I mean, that that that's just. I don't think that has anything to do with yeah, it. Though. Yeah, yeah, guys always wonder because, like, of course, you know, New York gonna be New York mm -hmm, always, mm -hmm. no, no matter what. Mm -hmm. But I just, I, I ain't know like if fifty maybe the cause of like you know saying everybody gravitate towards nah. something new and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Nah, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't but, think so. Shout out to fifty man, Ja Rule, all them dudes, dog. Say, hey, say what you want, Ja Rule has some hits, dog. He he did. He did. Yeah. He did. Ja Rule has some hits, man. He did. For real, but I think he should just ignore fifty. He would won. He couldn't. You don't think so? Uh, uh, Napoleon, Napoleonic complex. He couldn't. Yeah, he yeah, couldn't. You yeah, know what I mean? Man. Damn. Fifty was hoeing him, dog. Yeah, he was. You dog. can't ignore that. At some point, at some particular point in time, you are gonna have to say something. Yeah. Well, I kind of remember like Rick Ross, kind of like man, paying pay him no attention, just kept putting out good albums. I mean, at the music speak for itself. Fifty wasn't yeah. making no music. Yeah. You feel me? True. 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 You feel me? At the time he dissed Jaru, he was making music. Yeah. He so had... what are we doing? We we beefing or we making music? Let the music speak for itself. That's true. That's true, man. Damn. Yeah. Hey, and one y'all fucked up. <laughs> Big time. Ja, ja Rule, man, you should you should keep hard, I guess, dog. <laughs> ja Rule stopped making music. Think no, about he it. He did. He did. He, he did. stopped. He folded. Completely stopped. Yeah. Completely stopped. And I, I, that's the one thing with Murder Inc., man. They blew up off of two people. Two people. Yep. Shanti and Ja Rule, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Man, Shanti, man. <laughs> <laughs> Earth like, need to chill though, man. Yeah, he need to chill. Damn, my you nigga. Can't be, you can't do that, dog. You can't. You love her, man, but you can't be out there airing out dirty laundry. Yeah, like man. Dirty. And you had a wife while you loved the nigga. Like, yeah. chill. Duh. <laughs> like, duh. certain things just shut the fuck up. Man, man. Are you, are you satisfied with with, uh, with everything you, you've been through so far? Like, with life so far, dog? And, like, is it anything else that you setting out for yourself as far as some goals that you feel that you need to obtain? Um, I'm satisfied with, with, with my work uh, thus far. I wish. If one thing I wish could have been different, I wish we would have had a syndicated morning show out of Detroit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, for sure, for sure, you know, man, for sure. That that was one of those opportunities I told you that you know yeah. get fucked up because of unprofessionalism, so yeah. on and so forth. Yeah. Um, but 
still being on a syndicated morning show mm. that that's still definitely uh, a goal of mine mm. and to have a nice house mm. um where my in-laws could be in there and I don't, you know, yeah. different parts of the house with for a sure. nice backyard and yeah, pool. That's for it. Sure. For That's sure. it. Now, was, was there any one of those shows you wish could have got syndicated Morning Heat? Yeah. Where it was you, Foolish, Delicious, Delicious. Yep. And that was like the first, that was the, at the time, it was the only black urban uh, show Local. uh, locally in Detroit. Mm -hmm. And it was like right after, you know, Breakfast Club kind of took over JLB mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with uh, Mr. Chase, mm -hmm. Coco, and Foolish and stuff like that. Yep. Like, did you see, that was the show you wanted to really like? Yeah, I think that show could I think that could have been huge mm -hmm. it, it, it was going it was trending in the right direction and i think people was kind of happy because mm -hmm. the breakfast club took over that morning slot people just starting to like really kind of like accept that okay mm -hmm. breakfast club's mm -hmm. here because at first i people was mad about that yeah I believe. yeah they was you know what i'm saying i was mad about it yeah you yeah. feel me because like okay y'all syndicate but it's like they kind of like take that 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 you missed that local. You, you yeah. missed that that local. You know, I mean, that local feel. You missed fools Hence, giving the word of the day, like you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Like, or his parody song. For sure. Oh man, classic. <laughs> Shout classic. out to foolish, man. Yeah, classic, man. So like, you, you used to think of people around you as like around, you know, what I'm saying kind of like messed up y'all, kind of like getting there to yeah, that it, level. It, it, yeah, like like I said, man. Uh, just unprofessionalism, man. For sure, for sure, for sure, man. Damn. Hey, I was, I was, I was excited. Like foolish back, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it, it, it had potential, man. Yeah, and man. we was beating the Breakfast Club some mornings too. Yeah, no, for sure. People, even like when Jay Will came on, when when, when Foolish uh stepped away and Jay Will came on, we was we was beating the Breakfast Club. Damn, Jay Will was on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, man. Damn, I I, I miss those days because, like I said, I remember man, being young and on the bus, like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. We used to do the bitch please in the morning. <laughs> We just get a lot of hate for that though. Though parents are like, we in the car with the kids. You can't be saying bitch, please. <laughs> All right, bitch, please. <laughs> for sure. Hell yeah, man. What, what's your definition of success, man? People, people definition is different. You know what I'm saying? So what's your what's your definition of us of a successful life career like? Um, the definition of successful life career when it comes to being able to accomplish all of my goals mm -hmm. and be comfortable at the end. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, like if you if you bust your ass all your life for something, mm -hmm. and then you retire and then you're not comfortable and you still gotta bust your ass, mm -hmm. what the hell did you just do? Yeah, for sure. You feel what I'm for saying? Sure. How did you waste it? Like you wasted that time. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, success success is comfort at the end for me. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. if if you bust your ass at a job that you hate, you still should find a way to incorporate something that you got passion exactly, for. Exactly. Exactly. Because you just don't want to sit here and say, "Hey, I didn't, I didn't try." Like at least, "Hey, I gave it a try. Mm -hmm. Didn't work out." Cause you you got working nine to five, like yeah. Cause you got working nine to five just to be able to, you know, what I'm saying have money for your for your, what you passionate about. Facts. And a lot of people, man, you know, what I'm saying shy away from like it's just the grind. Like we were talking about earlier, mm -hmm. like they want it right then and there. They don't want to go through that them them struggle years. Yep. Yep. You know? And this dude, like he ain't had podcasts. I ain't had podcasts. Like he ain't been here for for years. Right. So it's just like. It come, it might not. But yeah. But you can't never say I ain't try. You you gotta try. And my kids got something they can always look and be like, dog, my dad was a clown. You like, you miss all the shots you don't take, right? No, nah, fast. You feel me? Hell you feel yeah. me? Hell yeah, man. What uh what just like the radio, we was talking, where do you see like artists and major record labels? Do you see like kind of that that kind of like not really like being the main thing? Cause, Cause you know, a lot of independent artists doing yeah. their thing. I and mean it, social media. If you if you know how to do your business, you don't need a label. Look at Russ. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean, yeah, he, he, sure. he don't need a label. No, not uh, so Nip, Nip, he didn't even, you know, shout, rest in peace to Nip. One of the best conversations I've ever had with somebody Man. off the air. You know what yeah, I mean? It was with sure. Nip. Um, but if you know your business, mm -hmm. you won't you won't need that machine behind you. It's good to get that machine at some particular point in time because of the resources. Yeah. But you become a multimillionaire before that machine even come yeah. away come around. You name your price. And then like they don't even develop artists. They looking for artists that's already developed. developed. They they you know you so you do be independent. Yeah man for sure. <laughs> Interviews man, what do you look at when you go to interview somebody like you know what I'm saying like how do you how do you approach an interview with with a uh, with a, you know local artists or a major artist? Um, how did you approach this interview? Uh, research, um, going back, looking and see, all right, what have he done? What can I talk about? Mm -hmm. What can I bring up? Just like trying to get to know the person before he comes so it can be easier transition. And that's how you're supposed to do it. Mm -hmm. Charlemagne the God told me something. Okay. He said, the, the people you're interviewing, they, they're not your friend. Yeah. You feel me? Sure. They're strangers. So yeah. ask them anything you want to ask them mm -hmm. and feel the temperature 
And if the temperature gets one way or the other, then you know how to steer the interview. Fast. You feel Fast. me? Yeah, that's, that's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Because you kind of like kind of know when you ask something, they don't want they don't want to talk about yeah. it. They don't want to elaborate. If they they kind of giving you the answer without so, giving you an answer. Exactly. Like you know what I'm saying? Like exactly. It, it, it's certain things when somebody can say, "Oh, okay, I know not to even elaborate mm -hmm. on that." Like mm -hmm. you know. And then once you try to like force it, like all right, hey, that's when it's gonna be a bad interview. Mm -hmm. Like you can kind of feel the energy shift within your question. Yeah. So get get a feel for them, but you gotta like get that feel before it even come yeah. to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So some people do post a lot of stuff on social media and you can be like, oh, I see this person goofy. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you got to really do your, your homework. And I feel like a lot of people just ask people to come on the show just because they have a name. Right. But don't really do the work. So then, yeah. you, like I always say, like you could tell if somebody don't know about somebody, they'd be like, hey, introduce yourself. Right, 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 right. I want to introduce you and let you know I know you do these things. Yep, yep. But you, you know, know what? I like to have, have, have people introduce themselves. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. Because, because... If you could tell me about yourself, right? Okay. If, you, if, if I say, yo, introduce yourself to me and you tell me something, I might hear something mm. that I already, that, that I've researched, but I did, I missed. For sure. You understand know what, sure. what I'm so saying? You can go off that too. Yeah. Added conversation. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. But I, I don't mind that. Like, I, I'll do my research, but I'll still ask that question just, just to For see. Sure. No, no, no. temperature fast. check. Fast, fast, fast. What's, give me a, uh, what's, a, what's been a bad situation as far as like on the radio that you like? You had to do a spin move and try to like, you know what I'm saying, get back on track. Yo, what was the one nigga name? Um, <laughs> what was the one nigga name? 24, I think, it was a DC artist. Okay. I, I can't remember the nigga name. 24 yeah. Golden or something like that. Yeah. Uh, but he came, he came in, he was real nonchalant. And I, I remember me and Delicious was asking him questions. Mm -hmm. Like, all right, man, so who's the hottest people outside of DC? Who, so, who you listen to, so on and so forth? Artists, yeah, I listen to me. <laughs> like yeah, all right, yo man. Thank you very much yeah. for for coming through. Yeah, like, what sure. fuck is you doing? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like you wasting my time, man. Like, yeah. all right, thank you very yeah. much, B. And that's how you just that's how you you handle stuff. You yeah. just you end it. Yeah, yeah. For, yeah. for what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you don't want to be here. I don't want you to be here. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and then he don't know. He just he killing your you killing yourself. Hey, you killing yourself. Hey, man. Because I I look at interviews like on Breakfast Club. I'm mm -hmm. Like, no, what the hell they come on the show for? Because mm -hmm. you don't ask no questions. Like, mm -hmm. and, and now if I'm if I'm not asking. You nothing disrespectful. Right. You'll be able to answer it. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? Or everybody, hey man, I don't, I don't want to speak on that. That's a, that's a little touchy. Hey. You know, wrap like, it up. Yeah, like the whole trick. Hey, I don't know about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> For sure. The man. chain was nice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's how I know niggas stop asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> And you gotta get that, dog. If you don't get that, then shit, man. Hey, that lead to the whole messed up little situation, <laughs> mm -hmm. man. Damn, man. So, it was everything you didn't recover from, like in your early years, interviewing somebody, any kind of like, it just, <laughs> it was just uncomfortable to even, yeah. even be around. Uh, for one of my first, my first interview as a full time radio personality is with Ludacris. Mm -hmm. And Ludacris, I didn't know that he was a former radio Came from person. The radio, yeah. So that was that was my fault. But I'm I'm still I'm still new to this shit. Yeah. You feel me? So Ludacris came into the studio, and he pretty much took over my show. Yeah. With his personality, For so sure. I, I was getting drowned out. So my program director called me on the hotline. Yeah. Studio full of people like. Yo, whose fucking show is this? I said, it's my show. Act like it. Yeah. And hung up on me. Damn. So everybody in the studio looking around like, <laughs> all right, I yeah. guess I got to act like this is my motherfucking show. Yeah, so, sure. But that that was just awkward, though. Interview ended up being fire, but that was awkward. Yeah. But he 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 checked me, though. Yeah. I appreciate it. Shout out to Hurricane Dave. Yeah, for sure. And you need that, bro. You need yeah. that in your life, man. You need, we say all the time, you need people to check you. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Some people, it, it, like, but some people don't want to be checked. But man, hey, check me. If I'm doing something wrong in relationship, right. my, my profession, right. let me know. Hey, man, you fucking up. But see, it's not communication. It's understanding. Exactly. <laughs> you feel exactly. me? Yeah, go back to what you're talking about. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Because if you don't accept that, then, hey, y'all. Watch how you say it to me, though. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, can I please let you know what you did wrong? <laughs> Pardon me, big red. Nah. But nah, you definitely need that, though. You need people around that. Yeah, man. You know whenever I, mean? I want some... Some unbiased truth. Mm -hmm. I go to him. Mm -hmm. I go to my older brother. Okay. They gonna call me a bitch. They gonna call me this. But I know it's coming from my love. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you a bitch with love, nigga. Like, hey man, if I hit him up, hey my wife wants some bullshit, cuz you wanna spend his money. Man, you sound you sound like her. <laughs> Stop being a bitch, I'm yo. I'm like, damn. So I'm like, this nigga right. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so now I go back to Krill. Like, you know I was wrong. Yeah. Yeah. That's hard to go back to your wife like you. I'm wrong. You right? Yeah, cause they never say it to us. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure, man. Shout don't ever expect wife. that if you if y'all married. Don't ever expect that shit. Hearing man, that, man, for sure. I know, growing up, man, you seen uh, making the band. Mm -hmm. I ask rappers, give me they 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 making the band. You know, what I'm saying mm -hmm. them and four other artists. I want you making the band. You and four other radio personalities, man. That's like 
uh, just uh, hypothetically, y'all had a show and you and four other people. Me and four other people. Yeah. Wow. Any radio personalities or just radio personalities here? Any. I, I, I gotta say, I gotta say, my brother DJ Skills down okay. in Cincinnati. I mean that. That's my dog when it came to what we did. That's my mixtape guy, too. For sure, for so sure. that what we did down in Cincinnati was crazy. Yeah. Uh, so Skills as DJ. Okay. Um, so you him, so you and Skills. I got to have, I, I got to bring Foolish on there for the simple fact that Foolish is a fucking idiot, dog. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for <laughs> and sure. I love it. Yeah. Um, and then we, we got to have, it's you know cool. what? Angie Martinez. Okay. Oh, yeah. Dope. Yeah. Angie Martinez. A legend, for real. I mean, I had to crush on him when I was young, listening to her. Still a nice. Yeah. Girl. Angie Martinez. <laughs> Angie and, and, Will. And just the way she the way she do radio is just yeah. phenomenal. You know, real quick, I, I went back and listened to something because she said that she did not air the Tupac interview she did because she knew it would have mm -hmm. been some problems. Mm -hmm. She said she got, they flew her out and she said she got used as a pawn. Yeah, she did. She did. Going out to there. Yeah, she did. Yeah, man. So shout out to Angie Martinez. Yeah, shout out to Angie Martinez. Yep. Yeah. And who your last but not least, man? So you skills, foolish, Angie Martinez. So yeah, you know. this is a hard one. Sway. Okay. Just the, just the, that, 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 that hip hop essence to it. Yeah. You yeah, know what I mean? For sure. For sure. And, and Sway know his shit. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. And he'll call you out on it. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. See a couple of How, Kanye? Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's a class. I go back. There's two interviews I go back and watch with him. The one with Dame Dash. Uh -huh. And the one with Kanye. Mm -hmm. Like, the way he handled himself with Kanye, he like, he pulled, hey, Kanye, hey, cuz, like, listen, man, you ain't gonna talk to me like, like that. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was like, bro, I ain't gonna let you keep talking to me crazy, man. Yeah, Sway, so I gotta say that. Man, yeah, shout out to Sway, man. Yeah, that's a good list, man. But Angie Martinez is definitely mm -hmm. a legend, man. For real, for real. To get Angie Martinez and Sway on the same show? Man. What? Yeah, that'd be dope. That'd be dope. I play the third chair to them. Man. Like, man. you feel me? I ain't even got a I ain't even got a leader. Like, yo, but what y'all need me to do? I love uh, Charlamagne the God, too, man. Charlamagne, yeah. Yeah, I love Shout him, to Charlamagne, man. man. Like, I've been on him for, since he when he had the black marks talking shit about mm -hmm. people, dog. You know what I'm saying? He got getting punched though. I'm trying to get a drop and mm -hmm. stuff. Like, I, I, I've I been rocking with Charlamagne since since um, Wendy Williams. Since yeah. he was on Wendy Williams. For sure, for sure. You know what I mean? For sure. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, man. Now, we always end things, man. We got versus battle. I'll give you two categories. Mm -hmm. You give me who will win. Mama cooking versus your wife cooking. She. <laughs> Person who cooked the most for me. <laughs> That's it. That's the answer yeah. right there. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> they tried to get me fucked up, dog. <laughs> Hey, that's a good battle, man. Yeah. That's a good battle. Give when 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 I'm here, my wife, when I'm in New York, my mama. For sure, for sure, man. For sure. Do mom, mom still come to Detroit? Like? Yeah, she, yeah, yeah. She was just here. Mom, mom's like to celebrate every birthday with me. I had to tell her, hey, mom, yeah. you don't have to come celebrate sure. every birthday. For sure, man. Hey. But she like to celebrate every birthday with me. Especially you be her only yeah, child, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, get it in. Yeah. Ready to die versus life had to do. Ready to die. Okay, okay. Snowfall, snowfall versus power. I seen you a big Snowfall fan. What <laughs> power though? Like you talking about just the power, 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 power with Ghost. When it was original, like before Snowfall. It started getting, Snowfall. Gossip. I've been trying to tell him to get on Snowfall for the longest, man. Snowfall. Snowfall. But 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 not by much. Okay, it's, it's small. Cause I think Power started falling off once season four came. Maybe. Okay. Or season five. Snowfall though, yeah, Snowfall, man. Snow Shout out to Franklin it, Saint, man. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Was, you ain't up on Snowfall, oh dog. You doing yourself a disservice, he, B. For real, he watched all these Tubi movies and ain't watch Snowfall, dog. <laughs> watch Snowfall, man. Man, but like, and then this season coming up is the last season. I know, I know, man. Two Rest in peace, John Singleton, too. Yeah, man. Two of my favorite shows is coming to an end: Snowfall and Atlanta. Okay. And yeah, I fell off of Atlanta after the second uh, second season. Yeah, man. Yeah. I, I love it because it would be all over the place sometimes, but I understand what he's doing. Okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? So I mess with that, man. I mess with that. Give me a uh, summertime gear versus fall gear. Give me a pair of uh, camo shorts and some Jordan 1s. Summertime. For sure. For sure. Jordan 11s versus Jordan 12s. Oof. Damn. 12s. 12. Only because 11 be squeaking. Yeah. <laughs> Them tens be squeaking too. Yeah, I know. Them levers be squeaking like a motherfucker. Man, what 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 colorway twelves? <sighs> Gotta go with the OG colorway. Gotta go with red and black. Yeah, man. Heck yeah. Yeah. Man. All right, you had to, if you had to wear one shoe for the rest of your life, Jordan the Jordan original ones, or the original or the white Air Force ones, the lows. 
I'm gonna go with Jordan ones. Jordan ones. Yeah, it looks better with jeans. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. For sure. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hell yeah, hell yeah. I just bought my son some Jordan ones the other day, man. Damn, they get expensive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah. Uh, be uh, being a, a radio DJ. I mean, a, 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 a radio DJ mm -hmm. or a mixtape DJ. Which one you wish you could have like throughout the foot? Nah, I'm radio. Happy with the radio joint. Oh, Detroit. Uh, early Detroit rap. Detroit rap now. Um, I'm OG. Got to go with the OGs. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got you to go, you go with people that, that paved the way. But these rappers now, hey, man, I'm proud of all Detroit rappers right no, now, sure. man. For I sure. love y'all. Keep on doing what y'all do and protect each other. No, for sure. For sure. Please. For sure. Creamy mac and cheese or that mac and cheese you got carving to? Nah, um... I like it creamy. Oh, no, you like my wife, dog. <laughs> I like that when you got a car, like uh, cornbread, nah, dog. Nah, let me let me get something that yeah, let me get that sound. Man. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Daylife or nightlife? Uh nightlife. Always man. Yeah. Always. Chill chilling in the streets or chilling at the crib? Crib. For sure. Streets For sure. is dangerous. No, for sure. For sure, man. Uh Detroit. Y'all got switches on your shit. Yeah, Detroit. Get those. Detroit summers or Detroit winters? Got to go with Detroit Summers, man. Yeah, you yeah. got to. For sure. Because winter sure, getting cold. Yeah. I love it, though. Don't get yeah. me wrong. I love the wintertime, but yeah. you got to go with Detroit Summers. Last one, man. Thanksgiving versus Christmas. Um, I don't believe in Thanksgiving the way people celebrate Thanksgiving. Really? For what? what, what? I mean, we just, I say, okay, when people talk about these holidays, I don't, we don't actually believe in holidays. Okay. We just believe in getting together. Okay. Like July Fourth, we don't, we never celebrate July Fourth. We just celebrate a time that we can come together and chill. All right, all right. So when it, all right. Christmas thing only because I got the kids. For sure. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Cause we gonna eat regardless. But uh, <laughs> yeah. Give me, give me your brokest Christmas story. It could be from an adult or a child. <laughs> <laughs> um, damn. <laughs> I remember one year I only got one hot track, one hot, hot, hot wheel set. Damn, that's it. That's it. I was like, did I do something wrong? <laughs> I, I ain't know what you know what I mean, but it was the night. It was a nice ass hot. It had the loop. Yeah, you know so, what I mean. So yeah, we had that, that loop. It, and I played with that motherfucker to the loop, fella. Man, man, your mom tell you like, hey, it was it was a bad year? Yeah, yeah. She she eventually told me yeah. like, she was like, remember that one year? I'm like, yeah, all right, cool. Yeah, I, I got it. Yeah, I, I didn't that. know. I, you know, as a kid, I didn't know what was going on behind man, the scenes. I for just sure, peeped. For sure. so. But as long as you were able, to, you were able to open some. Yeah, yeah, and, that, and that's what she said. She said I had to make sure you had something, but yeah, yeah but that was cool though. No, me and Miles sure. kicked it. Yeah, for sure, for sure, man. I for remember sure. that 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 Christmas we sat, had hot chocolate, had hot chocolate. Yeah. Shout out for PJs and watched some movies. For that, sure, for that was sure. Christmas. Merry Christmas, me man. and Miles. Yeah, man. Damn, good days, man. Yeah, good days. I was telling him, man. Remember my mom? We making sugar toast. Okay, okay. Just chilling, put that boy in the bottom of the play. oven. Yes. And just kick it. Yes. Yeah. Still make toast like that. Stop playing. <laughs> for sure. For sure, man. For sure. I'm gonna give a quick top, a quick top three. Give me your top three childhood crushes. Top three childhood crushes. Damn. Celebrity crushes. Celebrity Not crushes. Keisha down the street. Um. <laughs> damn, but Keisha down the street was fine though. It's always a good Keisha. It's all a good Keisha you know, and a good Tasha. Yep. Um. <laughs> for sure. You never meet too many other Keishas or Tashas. Nah. Um. Damn, I even hate to say her name. Damn. I ain't gonna say her. Nah, well, it wasn't really wasn't. Ch I had a crush on Stacy Dash, like. Oh yeah, no, you she, know what I mean? no she was dope. Like, she start, she a weirdo now. Nah, but, man, but that's fucked up that we didn't see the weirdoness in her no, before. We but no, she was um, nice. Stacy Dash. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is funny, y'all. Don't let, don't judge me. I had a, a crush on Felicia Rashad. Oh no, I still do. She, I was to be like them. <laughs> she, a, she the best looking TV mom ever. Uh huh. And um, Lisa Turtle. Okay, yeah. She was, she, she, yeah Locked Rochi, Rochi, what's her name? Yeah, yeah, yeah she ain't messed up skin. I'm not. She, yeah, she, yeah, she, yeah. She was definitely bad back then. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. But those, top, those top three. Give me your top three moments in life. My son being born. Okay. Yeah, you know I mean, uh, getting married. Because okay. I ain't never think I would propose in front of 30,000 people. Damn, shoot. After you give me your. What's yeah. that? Tell me about that. <laughs> and, um. Damn. You know what? Uh,. I would say when they came to me and said, yo, we're going to put you on the morning show. Okay. You know what so I mean? Because that's something that I was working and hard to. I never understand when people come on the show. They be married. They be in relationships. They be, have kids. They never mention it. Yeah, yeah. We, nah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> those, are, oh, those are good moments. Yeah, 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 man. Now, talk yeah. about this 30,000 people, man. Because uh, uh, that's killing my bedroom proposal. Yo, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I 
something. Yeah, um, <laughs> Cincinnati Music Festival. Okay. Uh, you know what I mean? It was down in Cincinnati, uh, and uh, Mary J. Blige was supposed to perform, but mm-hmm. it was something going on with the weather. So I had already said, I'm, I'm going to propose to my wife. I'm going to propose to my wife. Up. So she was backstage with me, yeah. and I'm like, fuck it. Let me, let me just do it right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I proposed to her on stage in front of 30,000 people. I'm like, I'm happy she said yes. Yeah, yeah, uh, sure. <laughs> you did, know what I mean? Did, did you cry? No, nah, I ain't cry. I, I, you know, I ain't never really been a crier like say, that, man. Hey, man, give me, when the last time you can remember a cry story, man, that you just like, it, it, it hurt you. Kobe hurt me bad. Um, Nah, you know what? It, it, when my great grandma, when I got the news, my great grandmother passed. Okay, okay. This is the this is the woman I hung out with every summer. For sure. For you know, sure. whenever yeah. moms had to ship me off to the summer down yeah. south, I'm in North Carolina, Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm like, what yeah. the fuck? Yeah, it's but, this, yeah. but yeah, my, when when she passed, man, that was yeah. that was. Yeah, I yeah. talked about. I told them when I lost my virginity. Yeah, she was sure. like, "Yeah, I knew that." I'm like, "Damn, how you know?" No, they be knowing though. Yeah. Like, I told yeah. my mama, "Like, hey, I think I got baby when I slipped up. Yeah. And I wasn't getting consistent. Like, oh, then, mm-hmm. when it got consistent, it just went crazy. Mm-hmm, like, yeah, mm-hmm. like, you got aggressive, cause. But yeah, that, that's that's a, that's a while ago, man. It's been a damn. while. Yeah, so when you proposed, man, I, yeah, I had to be damn thirty thousand. Yeah, man, I was like, please, please, thank you. Yeah, for sure, sweating like a bug, man. Mm-hmm. Damn. Give me your uh, damn. It's hard to do a top three after that. <laughs> Forget it, man. We're going to skip to the end. Uh huh. Drunk moment, high moment. Give me a funny story when you were drunk, high, or both. It, well, it has to be both. Okay. Because uh, I'm always both. I'm a drink, I'm a smoke. Uh, <laughs> if I'm a smoke, I'm a drink. Um, it, was, it was down in the DR. Okay. It, it, it was back in 2018, only because I remember this. I forgot who was playing, yeah. but I missed the playoff game because I, I took a whole bottle of Jack Honey to the head that day Damn. with a couple of can of gars. Uh and yeah, I passed out. I don't I don't remember like maybe two days of the trip. Damn, so oh, two it, days? It, it was bad. <laughs> it was man, bad. Was you and wifey? Nah, nah. Yeah. yeah, me and the fellas. It was, oh. it was down there Memorial Day weekend. Man, and, and when, I missed out. Any videos? Nah. Oh. <laughs> man. The chain was nice. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, hey, it's an honor, man. Thank you very much, I man. Appreciate you coming out here, man, showing love, man. Yes, yes, man. Tell people, of course, they know they know you, man. But that, where can they find you on social media and everything, man? Man, follow me on social media at Bucky Naked, B U C K I E N A K E D. Every day, two to seven on Hot One Hundred Seven Five, the day party with Big Greg. You heard? So, any, you want to give anybody any encouraging words, man, in this show, off, man? Um. I'm gonna say, like I said earlier today, man. If you find something that you're passionate about, do that. Do that every day. It's not gonna be a job. It's gonna be something that you love to do. Mm-hmm. And if anybody got a problem with it and stand in your way, try to, uh, you know, divert you to a different direction. Fuck them. Do what you got to do. No, for sure, for sure. Well, shit, yeah, that's a good way to end it off, man. Shout out to everybody, man. Big Red, Bucky Naked, man. Episode one thirty one. Voice of Detroit podcast MVP. We out. Salute.